Hey everyone, welcome to the next Pi Game tutorial. Uh, so like I promised in the last video, and this one we're going to get the live system to actually uh, decrement when you lose a uh, full health bar. Um, so the way I want to do this in our ship object, we already have a... Uh, let me make sure something's working here. Yeah, all right. Uh, so in our ship object, we already have the get hit method. And if your health reaches zero, it runs the death method. And on the death method, what we want to do at the end, we want to do uh, self.hud, and we want to access that lives object and run our decrement life function. So we'll run that. Now let's go to our lives method, or our lives object. All right, so the decrement life uh, section here, what we need to do, we're decrementing the number of lives from the counter, but then we need to redraw the image. So we're gonna copy a lot of stuff that was already in our constructor function. So we're gonna need the surface, and we're also gonna have to set the color key again. Let's go there. So uh, we're recreating the blank uh, image. That's just a blank surface, and we're setting the color key to black so it's transparent. And then what we need to do is re... Um, we need to put the ship image back on the screen so we can just do we can do this code right here where we blip the ship image onto the surface we can blip that back onto the surface and then we need to do the lives the actual counter where it says x3 so it can change to x2 so let's uh, copy both of these so right here, uh, we're just re-rendering uh, the number of lives. It's uh, the X number of lives, and then we're blitting that new lives counter onto the screen. Um, so this should work. Let's go ahead and test it out. All right, so it works. But if you notice, this might take a second, but now we're at one. Now we're at zero, and when it goes below this, I want it to be game over. But right now it's going into negative one, so let's fix that to where it can't go into negative one. So right where we decrement the number of lives, we can just do an if statement. So if number of lives is less than zero, just set it back to zero. Else, do all this stuff at the bottom. Um, so that should prevent us from going into uh, into the negative. Um, the other thing I kind of want to do is I want to give the player, uh, when he actually loses a life, I want to reset him back to the middle of the screen. So if we go to our ship.py file, where we run the death method, we can also set the character back to the center of the screen. Let's see where I want to put that here. So we'll put it right here. So self.rec.x, and we're just going to copy uh, in his constructor method. We're just going to copy self.rec.x as the center of the display. There we go. So that means when he dies, he should go to the center of the screen. There you go. And it kind of reset him back. I'm just going to test and see if it goes into the negative, which it shouldn't. Yeah, it should just stay at zero. Uh, and eventually we'll get to a point where we'll actually make the game over screen. Uh, the other thing I kind of want to do, I want to give the ship a invincible um, flag. So when he gets, when he dies and gets reset to the center of the screen, he doesn't, he's not able to get hit for a certain amount of time. Because if there was an enemy in the center of the screen and he gets teleported to the center after he dies... He'll instantly get hit again, and I don't, want, I don't want that to happen. So let's make a flag called self dot is invincible, uh, and it equals false. And we're gonna make a invincible timer. So self dot this is how long he'll be invincible. So self dot uh, invincible. How do you spell invincible? Invincible timer. And right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to make a variable that stores the max, and it'll count down from the max and then hit zero. So self.max invincible timer. 
and we'll set it to something like one second, so 60 frames. And then the current value of the invincible timer will be self.max invincible timer. Uh, so on the death method, let's see how we want to do this. Um, okay, so this is how I'm going to do this. So I've got uh, I've got a flag that the player has called is invincible. When the, when the game starts, it's set to false because they're not invincible. Uh, I have a max invincible timer. This is how long when they become invincible, how long they will stay invincible. Right now for testing, I've set it to 8,000 just so it's easy to test to see if it works. Um, and when the game starts, it's currently set to zero. Because um, what's going to happen is when this thing hit, when, if this thing's ever over zero, this invincibility flag will be set to true and he can't get hit. Um, but if it's at zero, it's going to be false. So at the start of the game, it's false and it's set to zero. Uh, and then what we're going to do in the update function for the player is we're going to check for invincibility. So we're going to say if uh, self dot invincibility timer, if it's over zero, then we're just going to decrement the timer. And we're going to do self dot invincibility timer. Uh, how do I spell that? Invinci for some reason, that's a hard word for me to spell. Invincibility timer minus equals one. Uh, and if it is zero, so else, then we're going to set invincible or is invincible back to false. So that'll handle switching the flag from true to false or switching it back to false once it gets set to true. Now on death, uh, when it runs this death method from losing all your HP, it's going to set that flag to true. And because that gets set to true uh, and we're setting the invincible timer to the max we're setting the timer from zero to eight thousand, so it'll start counting back down to zero. Because it's doing that, it's going to run through this every time in the update uh, method, um, and then when it hits back to zero again, it'll be set back to false. So this should all handle the the ship object, um, but this isn't going to work yet because we haven't told it to actually not collide if this invincible flag is set to true or false. Uh, so let's go to main. Uh, we'll go into main. And right here, where it says when the, it's checking if the player or enemy are colliding with one another, it says if the enemy is not invincible, then collide. But we also want to check and make sure the player is not invincible. So and player dot is invincible. Actually, let's put a not there. And not player dot is invincible. So if neither one are invincible, they can collide. Um, and what we actually need to do this enemy HP equals zero and enemy get hit. We need to move both of these over because all that happens if they collide as well. Uh, so this should work. We may get an error, but let's go ahead and test it out. And remember, I set the timer to 8,000, so as soon as I lose a life, I have like plenty of time to test if the invincibility is working. So I got reset. I shouldn't be able to collide now, but I can. So let's find out why that is doing that. Um, So let's find out why what's happening. So I'm gonna go to ship.py and every update method, I'm gonna print self dot is invincible. This way I can see the state of this flag every frame of our game. So it's showing showing false right now, which is good. That's what we want. So I'm gonna get hit three times. All right. So we know the issue is the flag is never getting set to true. So let's find out why. Uh, so on death. When my HP reaches zero, and it's probably a typo issue. Let's see, is invincible. Did I spell that right? So when d we know this function's running because his lives are uh, going down. So this should set it to true. So self dot invincible. Did I spell this wrong? I didn't. So we know it's getting set to true there for at least one frame. And then we're setting that timer to the max timer. So let's make sure I didn't misspell anything there either. Uh, which I think I did because it looks like I have. Yeah, it is a typo for the timer. Sorry about that. So invincible timer. So when we run death, we need to set the timer to the max invincible timer. Now this should work. Uh, uh, so I've got it typoed somewhere else too. Line 44. It looks like I typoed that thing all over the place. Then 
invincible timer is greater than zero. Timer minus equals one. Okay, so I just had typos all over the place. So let's hit play now and see if it works. So we're at false, which is good. Get hit once, twice, and now it should say true. And I shouldn't be able to get hit now. Yeah, so everything goes through me. Which is what we want, but we don't want it to last this long. Right now it's set for 8,000 uh, frames. I only want it set for about a second. So you're if when you get game or not game over, but when you, when you lose a life, it puts you back at the center of the screen, decrements a life, and you you have invincibility for one second. Um, you could do something fancy like the character flashes to give you an indicator that you're invincible. We might implement that later on. There's a lot of stuff I'm going to add to this. I'm going to add um, probably the next thing I'll add is a power-up system where maybe uh, there's a random chance that a power-up will spawn that you can grab that'll give you a different type of gun like a spread shot or a laser, something cool. Uh, and then we might Im implement the, the flashing for invincibility. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer them. You guys have a good one.